In this video, I'll demonstrate how to update an HCL Portal 9.5 container using Docker Desktop on Windows. This is my current Portal 9.5 CF172 server. As you can see, I have several pages that include Wickham content, a custom sample portlet, and a web application bridge application. Here's the command I used to create the CF172 container. Note that I created it using a bind mount, but as long as you have a persistent volume for this WP profile, your changes will persist. Using the docker container ls command, we can see my CF172 container. And if we check my image cache, you can see I've already downloaded and imported the CF173 image. Now, as you may already know, you don't apply any maintenance or fix fixes directly to an existing container. You create a new container with an updated image. So here is the command I'll use to create my CF173 image. As you can see, we're using the same bind mount from my CF172. So how does this work exactly? Well, if you look at our CF172 container logs, you can see every time it starts up, it checks to see one, does this profile exist? And two, if so, does the profile version match the container version? So let's first shut down portal and stop the CF172 container. Now let's create the new CF173 container. Once a container is created, we can take a peek at the CF173 logs. As you can see, it confirms the profile exists, but a configuration of the profile is required. So if you watch the logs, you'll see that it basically does an apply CF to upgrade the profile. At this point, you just need to let the task run. And if it encounters any errors, you need to check the config trace.log, correct the issue, and then restart the container to kick off the apply CF task again. When the apply CF task is complete, you'll see portal start up and the logs should end with the open for eBusiness output. Now let's hit our newly upgraded Portal 9.5 CF173 server on my browser. If we check the About portlet, we see that it correctly shows CF173. And now if we check my site, we can see that the pages and portlets I had on my CF172 container are still present. The final step is to remove the CF172 container since we won't be using that one anymore.
This concludes our demonstration on updating an HCL Portal 9.5 container on Docker Desktop.